from children's face painter to internationally acclaimed artist. South Australia's Emma Hack continually pushes the boundaries of multimedia art with a creative process that gives the term body of work a whole new meaning. Emma's working on a brand new collection. Her first challenge is to select a suitable model who help her create visual illusions like this, where female form and background merge together. Letitia knows firsthand it's not an easy job. Quite a few hours are involved, a lot of standing on your feet for long periods of time. Um, standing there in the freezing cold isn't much fun, but um, and having wet cold paint put on you as well. But um, no, I enjoy it because, you know, obviously what comes out of it at the end is amazing work and good to be a part of, so you just have to deal with that. Emma began her career as a makeup artist and then moved into theatre makeup. Her mentor, Bill Peacock, encouraged Emma to extend her unique artistic ability and paint more than just a face. So the first one I ever did took me 19 hours and the poor model was throwing lollies at me by the end of it, trying to sort of keep herself going. It was quite horrific for both of us. So I did that one and then the next day I did another one for 17 hours. So, suck of punishment. In general, you know, some of the pieces take up to 15 hours to create depending on the design. When there's a lot of straight edges and geometric lines, it tends to take a lot longer. Full body makeup soon became Emma's trademark. And in 2001, her geisha work with the theme East Meets West won the World Body Painting Championship in Hong Kong. The attachments that are on her body took 100 hours to hand paint. They were all done in silk, and I actually did a lot of silk painting when I was younger. So um, it was that sort of, I guess, got tied into it somehow. Unlike some of her early collections, Emma now photographs the pieces herself and this has allowed her to revisit some favourite Broadhurst wallpaper designs. This week I've been taking probably about seven to eight hours um, but that's because I know the designs quite well. What I've done is I've incorporated the mandala feel from my latest collection. So um, I start with the circle, which is a sense of self, um, and then I've incorporated the, the background around the edges of it because I think, for me, it's a better blend of the body rather than just having them encapsulated in that circle. Her native mandala series saw models holding cute and sometimes not so cute Australian wildlife. I was in the painting with the baby Joey. I got kicked in the boob with that one. And um, I also shot with a tawny frog mouth owl, uh, which vomited on me and a baton which bit me. Emma's images instantly become collector's pieces as only 20 of each are produced. But another new project could see her work in many more homes. Um, I'm re releasing a book based on all the Florence Broadhurst works that I've done because um, she's such an iconic Australian artist. So it's based on all the images that I've done. So it's really exciting, my first book. <laughs> So with just a few metres of wallpaper, a digital camera, some brushes and pots of body paint, Emma's attention to detail and unique artistic skills combine beautifully to produce a multimedia masterpiece. No one's really been offended by it or anything like that. I mean, I, th I think if you look at a photo, it's the illusion that sort of grabs them more than anything. And that's the important bit about this, I think, is that you see the pattern to start with and then you see the human form within it and it tricks the eye. The new collection will be exhibited in November at AP Bond Contemporary Art on McGill Road, Stepney, where you'll find her work all year round. Emma, this is simply incredible. We've literally watched Letitia disappear into the wallpaper over the last few hours. This collection is going to be stunning. What's next? Uh, I've got New Zealand, Hong Kong lined up and also maybe New York, so I'm just having a chat to people there. Um, it would be fantastic to take my art to the world. Um, I'm really excited to be working with the Florence Broadhurst designs for this next collection, so I think it's going to be really strong. And this coming week, you'll find an amazing audio-visual exhibition celebrating 21 years of Emma's body art at the Maya Centre in the city.